Kieran McGoy, we're here with Box of Months and I'm here at Celtic Clash 12 after seeing a exhibition between Dominic Dunnigan and Jay Canney. Uh, Dominic, first of all, uh, late call for this one. Um, how was it? Yeah, nah, good old scrap. Jake's good lad. Uh, I, th- I think everyone was like thinking it was just going to be an exhibition, but two of us went. Went for a few heavy shots, landed from boat off us, so it was yeah. good warm up for the crowd. Yeah. What was it like getting the call yesterday? Oh, do you want to have an exhibition with uh, a light welterweight? What was that like? Well, it was coming up here anyway, so it was so it's a spar, you know. I'm, I I was meant to train this morning, so got me session in anyway, and got four very good rounds in front of a crowd. So it was a fight, like no no winner. It was probably harder than a fight because two offs could actually box and. Uh, no, it was good, very good. Didn't have to sell tickets, didn't have to worry about any of that crack. It was great for you, yeah. Um, what I was going to say to you was, um, so you personally now, uh, your last two fights, so you had the one in Luxembourg where you fought, and I've spoken to you since then, and then you had the fight here on Mark Dunlop show. Uh, where's your head at, at the moment? Like, How's it been reflecting on that now since? Yeah, a few things that wasn't right going into it. Like, I'm not making excuses, obviously not. But uh, a few personal things uh, that I was going through, and de- when the head's not in it, you may as well not be in that ring. But I was offered something big after it, so it was hard not to take the fight. Like, and yes. you know, I love getting in there anyway. So even win or loss, I always said the stars not protect my record, but I didn't perform well. The first two rounds was very good off my fight, and. Uh, in the Europa, but just, you know, went downhill after that, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, where, did you, where was your head after that? Was like, some people when that happens, they're thinking, I'm done. Uh, there's no point in me doing it. I just want to walk away, like, because it's not because they don't think they're good enough, because they're just sick of it, you know, because you're selling tickets and all these things and then you lose the fight. Um, what, have you, like, what's your been reflection on it since, like, in, like, what next do you want to do in boxing? Uh, look, I'm not going to give up any of this. Yeah. You know, I want to have my eyes on the Celtic title, have my eyes on the Irish title. Probably take a wee bit longer than I said. I said two years. It's going to take a wee bit longer, but I'm going to keep working till I get them. And look, they're only wee bumps in the road. And there's Nike in for a four-rounder. Not really training. Done four rounds there. So, you know, it's... it's yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any idea what your next fight is? Your next professional fight? Uh, Stephen came up to me there before and in Barcelona. Uh, that's, you know, if not probably November and the uh, next Celtic clash. You know, I'm, I'm game to fight whenever. Like, you know, we got a te- uh, phone call yesterday to take this. I oh, took it. I had said it was a fight to go uh, on your card. I probably would have took it as well. Like, you know, it's. That's what we're here for, and the crowd there enjoyed that, and that's what we do, like, put it on for the crowd, you know? Yeah. Shame you didn't have the Calvin crowd with you today, but, uh, yeah. but look, uh, look, Dominic, I really appreciate your time, right? And hopefully you'll get to see you in a, in a decent uh, fight now soon. Yeah. All right, okay, thanks very much. Thanks, Karen, appreciate that.